Hi, welcome to my three minutes max. My name is Jesus Ramirez. In this quick tip, I'm gonna show you an awesome way to create cast shadows in Photoshop. Let's jump right into it. So this is the document that I'm working with. As you can see, it's just two simple layers, a color fill with a texture created by a layer style and an editable text layer with a layer style that creates that effect that you see there. You can obviously create cast shadows by using layer styles. For example, with that layer selected, I'm gonna create a drop shadow. And you can see that I can add a new drop shadow and I can reset it to default just so that I have a black shadow and I can click and drag this and move it around. And even though this looks okay, it doesn't really give me the effect that I'm going for. I want a long shadow effect and that is what the tip is going to be all about. So I hope that this tip is new for you. So what I'll do now is hold Control on Windows, Command on the Mac and click on the layer thumbnail to load the layer as a selection. Then I'll create a new layer and fill it with black. Black is my foreground color, so I'll tap Alt and Backspace to fill with black. I'll press Control D, Command D to deselect, and I'll drag the layer below the shadow text layer. There it is. What I'll do now is I'll convert it into a smart object so that I can have an opportunity to edit the shadow later. Then I'll go into Filter, Blur Gallery, and select Path Blur. And with this blur, we're going to create a really cool shadow. You can click and drag on this arrow and you can see the shadow here next to the text. But I want a long shadow. To create that effect, just uncheck the centered blur checkbox and increase the speed and you can see that long shadow effect. See that? Super, super cool. So in my scene, I have the light coming from the left. You can see that the S here is brighter than the W here on the bottom, so the shadow will be going this way. And you can just click and drag it accordingly to find something that works for you and adjust it any way that you want. When you're done, you can just press OK. Remember, this is a smart object, so we can always edit the shadow by double clicking on the Blur Gallery label. And you can fine tune it and press OK. So that was my three minute max. I hope that you enjoy this cool technique to create a long shadow effect on text layers and other elements in your design.